Good evening, everyone. It's Angelina, Sparkling Diva, and uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna do another pick a card reading for you, and this one is on how can you get through. I have to move a bit. Hang about. Um, how can you get through the uh, current difficult time with the pandemic? And no, I'm not going to go into uh, <laughs> being uh, sick or whatever. Just how you can best get through this period. And I have my uh, my beautiful plate there with the crystals and the swans. It's always on my dining room table. And here is, uh, well, the reading again. There's three choices. Um, from left to right, we have number one is yellow calcite, numbers two in the middle is sardonyx, and numbers three to the right is um, Celtic healer crystal quartz. So, if need be, pause the video and just feel which one is calling to you, and then we're going to start. Right, numbers one, your first cards, the tarot cards. Uh, we have the seer, which is a high, a high priestess in the default tarot, the king of swords, and we have the ten of cups. Now, oh, hang about, put the light, yeah, turn that a bit. Um, with the seer, I, f I feel for you, for this group, it uh, is, is one of, of two messages. Actually, the message is the same, but where you are concerning it may vary. It could be that what I'm going to say now with this reading is what you're already doing. And I think a large group of you who chose this is, is part of that. Is, is the, and, and the other is uh, who should be doing this, who aren't doing it yet, but should be doing it in order to feel better and stay on a better vibration. So I'm just going to read it and adapt it to whatever uh, of these two scenarios is applicable uh, for you. Um, with the seer, you are well attuned to your self, your inner world, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, and you are in control of them. You do not get swept away in drama, fear or whatever. You can see that here too. The Kingfisher is flying well above the water, water emotions and um, he's not going in there. He's steering clear of drama and stuff that doesn't serve him. And um, the King of Swords is also level-headed, logical, um, I'm not saying you are logical because this is pure intuition as well, but also, well, just keeping a clear head. Also, not getting caught up in 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 um, well stuff like fear and drama and all that stuff. Right? He's not doing that either, and um, that will keep you happy and feeling good, and your options will be well plenty and bountiful. And um, so either you are doing this, you're able to do this, or you, is, this is what you should be doing in order to get to a place of more um, calm and peace on the inside instead of maybe fear, right? Because a lot of people right now are in fear and negativity and it's all over the internet and so we're confronted with it all the time too. So either you are managing to do this or this is what you should be doing. And I also feel um, that it is very important to constantly tune into your inner world with the seer here. So don't focus too much on the outside world. Don't connect with it too much like the Kingfisher isn't doing, which also means um, it's good to stay away from social media and uh, the news, etc., etc., because that will only drag you out of your vibration. And yeah, it, it might be difficult to s sustain a higher vibration if you do that regularly and then we have now this is really interesting 
partnership. Now, that's not necessarily a romantic partnership. It's just working together. And a funny thing here is that also two horses, polarity. But I feel that this one is more keeping the balance on the inside. So more like the... Uh, like this, like the high priestess tapping into your inner world, keeping the balance on the inside. Because this, I, I often see, feel that this is like yin and yang, the masculine and the feminine. Um, or maybe now you can even say, because it's polarity, negative and positive, you manage to keep these things in check, in, um, in balance. And um, some of you may even also have a bigger understanding of what's going on and what this can lead to this situation. And you know that some people do have that. You also fortunately see people like that on the internet doing things that, yeah, focus on love and all that thing. Yeah, those things, right? Gratitude. And with a partnership, choose your company really well. And it can be good to still uh, spend time with other people, but be selective. It doesn't have to be many people, just one really good friend or someone that you really resonate with, that um, feels the same way you do, deals with this situation the same way you do, and uh, because that will support you, that will help you to be able to go, come through this um, period, however long it's going to last, more, well, in, better. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, again, a confirmation that you are able to um, maintain your cool, your calm. You know how to do that. <clears throat> that maybe uh, going out in nature helps you to get grounded, to get calm, to just breathe and just be and let it all go and, and not think about stuff and worry about stuff. And with this, by the way, I also feel that for people who are not in such a good place right now, who are worrying, it might help to find um, connection, contact with people who are doing better, who are calm, who can support you to get there as well, right? Like these two unicorns, both are equal in that sense. Um, so don't hang out with people with a, a low vibration who are stuck in caught up in fear and negativity and negative thinking because that's not going to help you stay away from these people. Just get connected with people. If need be online in groups or whatever, uh, the more spiritual people, light workers who are on a different vibration because then you will begin to feel better too. And then your last card, we have the portal. Um, that basically means that um, you have a Midas touch, that everything can work out for you, whatever you want, whatever you want to do manifests. Um, but it also says, and that comes normally with the manifesting, I'm not certain if people are um, focusing on manifesting right now, but this is also about keeping, um, being conscious and clear with your emotions and your thinking. So in other words, again, um, to really be aware of that. And if you have, if you, you happen to have negative thoughts or fearful thoughts or limiting thoughts, just notice it and then just let it go and start focusing on positive things again, on things that you like, on things that you love and can feel joy and gratitude for, right? So be really aware of your thoughts and your feelings because that's what usually gets us of our vibration <laughs> right so it's important to uh, pay attention to that so that's all i have for you and thank you for watching and i'm wishing you a lot of luck take care of yourself and see you next time group two 
Um, your cards, first the tarot cards, uh, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Five of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Now, please, if, you, if you're familiar with tarot, bear in mind that this deck, uh, the Wildwood Tarot, is somewhat different also in the interpretation than the uh, default tarot, which is why I love it so much. <laughs> um, with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel it's very important for you to stay connected to yourself, your goals, and but also take good care of yourself, both physically, but also uh, mentally, emotionally. It's like really going back to uh, the core of who you are and and, and just making sure that at a core level, on a deep level, you stay strong, like that standing stone. And um, do not try to avoid that as much as possible. The frustration, the five of swords, try to avoid stress, try to avoid wasting your energy like he's not hitting anything right and uh but but it does cost him energy and resources to shoot these arrows and nothing is happening it doesn't have any effect so don't it, that's also maybe you really are in a lot of fear and trying to fight this 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 illness and um but be well just do the right thing because uh yeah, don't waste your energy on stuff to try and keep it at bay or whatever. That isn't working and it's only going to frustrate you, it's going to wear you out and um, it's better to focus on your own, your, just your own um, well-being on the inside, your um, calm and your cool and trusting in yourself, relying on your body, on yourself, the strength of your body and, be, and, and don't get stressed out, don't get frustrated and get caught up in drama and angry. If, if you get into negative, um, uh, on a negative vibration, a low vibration, negative feelings are low vibrational, then you're more um, prone to, to, to diseases and viruses and all that stuff. The more you are on a high vibration and calm, the stronger your body is because then it's not producing stress hormones and it really works. And <clears throat> as you see here with the Eight of Wands, the hearth fire, um, chill, relax. Spend time with a small group of people, maybe, maybe just your family, right? Because socializing is uh, advised against uh, if it's larger groups. But it can also be um, like they are all very friendly and familiar and happy with one another. So maybe it's just your own, your own family or just yourself. If you don't have anyone living with you uh, or your partner, if you have a partner and just enjoy Enjoy life, relax and chill and don't be like this all of the time. Make to make sure that there is a good balance and actually you shouldn't do this ever at all. It's not healthy. Um I feel like going to this card first. We have the volcano volatility. Again, that's pressure, right? Almost like this uh frustration card, that's pressure. There is an explosion, volatility, and this isn't out of your control. You can't control it. And it's like you don't try to because you can't. You really can't, right? The only thing you can control is the stuff um, that changes or shifts if you do something, right? Is is um, directly in, excuse me, in your world. And... Um, What's going on is is also, it is quite explosive, right? What's happening, the way it's spreading and so on and so forth. But there's no need to to, to get into stress and fear because of that. Because it's not going to help you. It's only going to make you, um, well, vulnerable in that sense. 
And something new will come from all this to do eventually. It's going to take time, but something new will come from it because um, the, the lava, it well, usually flows to the sea and then it, it hardens at some point and then there is new land. So something new and it cleanses fire, cleanses, etc. And also if it's about you, don't bottle things up too much, right? Make sure you avoid drama and negativity and so it doesn't come to this. But also if there is stuff that is bothering you, just speak your mind, express it, right? Even if it's fear, you can say, I'm, I'm afraid. I don't know what's going to happen. I find, find it difficult to not know and to be in the unknown and to be afraid. You can say that. But doing that makes it feel lighter already. And then um, we have Star Brothers. This is about receiving in your heart, not closing off your heart. It's about being able to keep your heart open, especially when you are in a difficult situation. So keep your heart open and trust and f try to feel as safe as possible and know that there is help. Other people will help. There is help. You're not alone. Even if there aren't and if you don't have anyone in your life, people, then there is spiritual help as well. You're never alone. It's just you have to open your heart in order to receive that, to let it in. That's mostly what this card is about, about being able to open up so you can receive then your last two cards that we have is from the Unicorn Oracle deck. And then two beautiful cards. We have a friendship. Seek out your soul family. Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time socializing. I think the positive people might be very helpful and important. And... Uh, if you don't have a lot of people, which is possible, um, that you have a very small social circle and your family lives far away or whatever, you can also tune in to connect with your soul family. Right? That's also possible to do. But this is, again, an, a, a friendship. Um, being happy, open to receive, uh, receive help, just have your heart open and so on, right? Being in, yeah, that's what friends do. Well, that's at least what they should be doing. <laughs> Maybe not everyone does that, but that's what it should be like, right? Like sharing and giving and receiving and doing nice things together and, and so on and so forth. Which is also, again, about receiving. And the abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. So this is also very high energy with the rainbow and the rainbow wings. But there's a rainbow in the skies. Rainbow is very high, high energy. Um, yeah, it's again about tranquility, being at peace. Um, enjoying life, seeing the the beauty of things that are there in your home or around you, even if it's just the flowers that bloom, or you know, it doesn't have to be like like uh, uh, material riches. There's always something that we can enjoy and be grateful for: the sun shining. Uh, a flower, uh, a bird, you know, and see these things because that will help you to get into this state. More trusting, feeling strong, uh, tapping into your inner strength and with that also your physical strength, right? So I hope that makes sense because at some point I was fumbling a little bit because sometimes I find it really difficult to really feel these messages and things and then to translate them <laughs> into words. Anyhow, um, I hope it does resonate and I hope it's helpful. Take good care of yourself and I'll see you with the next reading.
Right, numbers three, uh, your tarot cards to begin with. We have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Tower card, the Blasted Oak in this deck, and we have the Nine of Cups, Generosity. Um, the Knight of Pentacles. With this In this deck, I always feel that um, a determination, not giving up, just going for it, right? Not giving up, uh, knowing what you want and, and, and sticking with that. And you probably uh, perused, studied whatever it is you want and or want to do or where, we, where you want to go. And so you know, you have clarity on that and you're now just going for it. Now, it's not per se a very um, fast energy because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight of the Tarot. But you are moving. I mean, that horse is, is going, isn't he? And... Uh, even though the things might be changing around you, even though there might be the occasional fear, possibly, maybe your world is upside down and changing completely, or you're just watching it happen in the outside world. Maybe you have family or friends who feel that way, so you have to observe it. That's also possible. But I think you yourself also experience some some well, quite a big change or shift, but it's liberating because if you turn it around and look at his face or her face, you can't really tell, it's not a person who seems to be really scared. Right? I mean, I look different when I'm scared, I can tell you that, right? So it's more like a liberating. And yeah, it's still... Um, can be a big thing because you're, you're getting into the unknown if you've been tied to that tree for lord knows how long to a, a, a way of living a lifestyle um think uh, ways of thinking and and specific patterns or whatever and you let that go after maybe decades yeah that is quite scary because it's just trusting that you're gonna land and you're gonna be fine you're gonna be well you don't know what's gonna happen once you now are free but it's it's good you're doing it and that's when when the strength of that um knight of uh, pentacles is coming in the determination the knowing that you want to do this and then from that Con comes this feeling of well look at look at that man i mean need i say more is is utter bliss it's also the wishes fulfilled card but look at him how he radiates light and he's giving out energy and light from his hands as well he's beaming he's shining he's just in almost <laughs> Well, this is what I I I I feel being in the Kundalini state looks like, you know. And when you have activated the pineal gland and then the pituitary gland, and feeling like wow, on top of the world, wonderful. And maybe you are busy with getting there, but it can also be completely different. Something else, but yeah, there is something big that is changing that you're uh being liberated from either by doing it yourself or by external circumstances and that could very well be what's going on in the world now with the pandemic right we, a lot of stuff is happening that we have no control over and and it but it happens anyway <laughs> right and um then we have this card dna karma um again this big change because it says that we are born with certain uh physical attributes in our dna um but we also have soul patterns and thingies and you can choose um yeah some things you cannot choose that are just fact right but other things you have a choice and you do have a say in, but you have to get into a really good state of and a real high vibration like this man in order to get there. And you can now do that. You can now change things, change patterns and choose a new way of living, feeling, thinking, manifesting, whatever, right? Whatever it is about for you. 
<clears throat> and it is really um, possible. I also think you really are longing for that. Because this is, uh, I can't remember now, Hirais, I think it is, hang about, I wrote that down. <laughs> How you're supposed to pronounce that is a Welsh word, Hirais, if, if I got that one right. Um, that's longing for home, homesick for the stars, but I think you are longing, uh, I'm not in a paralyzing way because that can happen as well i have been there in the past you know like crying like i want to go home but it can also be this longing of um that's slightly different it's it's wanting that uh oneness that high vibrational uh love and 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 oneness that you know from where you come from right where did why you have that homesick feeling to want that to come into being on earth and um that's what you're longing for to have that here on earth with like-minded people and and uh soul mates real soul mates and these do not have to be romantic partners right we have plenty of soulmates that are not romantic partners. So, uh, yeah, longing for that home to come here. A different way of life, different kind of societies, communities. You know, that the old way of, of uh, how things are going on, on this planet will, will disappear, will change. And I think that's what you're longing for. In a way, that's a step up from longing to go home. In in because that can be really quite paralyzing and and like soul destroying even if you have that. Uh, your last two cards. Look at that magic from the unicorn oracle deck. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. What well, you can see that there as well, right? This is also the wish card. The Nine of Cups. And this is also um, uh, a wish is coming true, wish is fulfilled. Really believe in that. And that if you do that, it will get you through this uh, tower period as well. If you can hold on to that vibration. And then we have nature. Ground yourself, find sanctuary in nature, connect with the element, element yeah, elementals. I always feel fairies with this. I don't know why, but yeah. Uh, grounding yourself might be very good to do, uh, to keep going on your path so you don't sidetrack. Right? So if you ever you feel yourself um, kind of lose it and it gets off your high vibration, take some time to ground yourself. It might be really good to do that in nature. It's very helpful, very easy as well. And uh, maybe you also feel like connecting with the elementals, nature spirits or animals or totem animals or fairies or, you know, just whatever that uh, appeals to you. So I think you're actually doing really quite well in spite of this. I think many of you who chose this are going through quite a, quite a personal transformation, a shift. So I do hope it resonates and I hope it's helpful, of course. And I, yeah, take care of yourself and lots of love and I'll see you next time.